um, I'll take a few minutes before, yeah, about 10 minutes before the break to talk about the next year's summit because we started looking at it and it's really hard to get feedback outside of, you know, like just sending to the mailing list or so on. But now we have a great room of people that came all over uh, the world to Munich. And so we wanted to say a little bit of what we are planning for the summit next year and get a bit of your feeling there. Um, so we've started organizing it um, together with the Linux Foundation, which has a team uh, managing events. And we are considering um, the following options. Um, so after some discussions, uh, we decided to keep it in the same time frame around September, October. And we've considered three cities uh, where we have um, some members of the SEL4 community, Minneapolis, San Francisco, and Sydney. Um, and we want to know a bit of your opinion. We will send um, later on after the summit, we'll send like a, a more formal survey to the entire community. But since we have all you in the room, at the end of the presentation, we'll do a very quick um, vote to have an, a feeling of uh, which city uh, you'd be most likely to be interested in coming and maybe within each city, which uh, venue you might prefer. Again, this is, um, we're not committing to anything because things might change, details might change. Um, and just to be fair, I received all of the details from the Linux Foundation Saturday morning, so bear with me as we go through the slides. Um, so, all right, so we have considered these options, which were the ones that have been investigated by um, the Linux Foundation. Um, they have different, so they have actually investigated a very large number, and so we've nailed it down, um, both in terms of um, suitability for the kind of event that we want to have, um, also in terms of prices. Um, there was a really cool option to be in the computer museum in San Francisco, but that was quite in a high range of the prices. Um, but that would have been cool. <laughs> but anyway, so we have these options. So. We have three options in Minneapolis, one in San Francisco, three in Sydney. Um, so yeah, so Sydney over there. It's rarer to see the, the map through the Pacific Ocean, which is great, uh, San Francisco and Minneapolis. Um, so the Minneapolis one, um, so there, basically we have three so that you remember them when I show the details of what was suggested by Linux Foundation. One is um, in the, um, and I don't know, people can correct me, but I think that's the CBD. <laughs> um, that's the market one, the first one I'll show. There is one in the campus uh, of the university over there. And then there's Elliot, which is over here, which is apparently the historic center of Minneapolis. Um, so we'll come back to the details, but that's for you to remember a little bit when we do the vote. Um, the other one is the Hilton in San Francisco. So it's very centrally located here. And in Sydney, we have three of them. Um, so this I know a little bit better. <laughs> so you have all the Eastern suburbs uh, beaches here, and that's the center of Sydney. And more precisely, you have the Opera House over there. Uh, one of the uh, option Novotel is in the Darling Harbor area here. And the two others are different styles, but both in the CBD. Um, so, all right, now this is what I have received as options from the Linux Foundation. Um, the first one, the market one, was in the CBD of Minneapolis. Um, so it's available in the dates of uh, September. It's in the heart of downtown. They have um, all rooms renovated. Um, you can see the details here. Um, so Linux Foundation has listed the numbers of pros and cons. Windows in the meeting room, inexpensive compared to the other cities and so on. Um, some things about the height of the ceiling, which I, I have to convert to, and I'm not sure if they means the high or... <laughs> uh, columns, so yes, maybe in terms of visibility and so on. All right, um, so that's the number one, the market. Uh, hotel in Minneapolis. The second one was in the um, university campus. Um, so it's the campus club. It's 
located in the fourth floor of the Memorial Union at the University of uh, Minneapolis. Um, it's close to a hotel, 10 minutes drive from downtown. There are some windows, large rooms, unique venues. It's not that central. Um, it's still a cool area. So if you want to have questions, maybe we'll get local people to get... Okay, so it's a cool area. And then you have the Elliott Park um, Hotel that was in between that um, it says it's the historic downtown Minneapolis, uh, walkable and near the light rail. Um, it's a luxury boutique hotel. Um, the pros will be the only group at the hotel at that time, so you'll have the exclusive use of the, all the meeting space and so on. Um, the meeting room is large. Um, we also have, it's all renovated, but we have columns in the rooms and so on. Uh, Darren, do you have any um, thoughts on the area, the downtown Minneapolis, the historic downtown Minneapolis? Yeah, I'm not sure I would call that the historic Okay. <laughs> So the downtown is really the first one, the market. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, all of these are U.S. dollars. You'll see the the Australian dollar later. Yes. Okay. So the locals don't really know where this one is. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Um, the San Francisco options, we have only one option there. As I said, we had other options, but uh, that were more expensive ones. So here, um, the rates, like the, 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 they tried to find something that was uh, in the rate comparable to the others. Um, it's the heart of the financial district. Um, oh, yeah, so that's probably from the San Francisco airport, I guess. Um, and then rooms per night. Um, the rates are not bad, um, but it's small rooms with no win windows and, and low ceiling. Um, so that's the San Francisco option. Anyone from San Francisco want to comment? Great area. Great area. <laughs> we have <laughs> great area. All right. And now we have the Sydney option, which for some people is the outside, the other side of the world. For some people, it's home. Um, so um, the three options, the Novotel one was in the Darling Harbour area. Um, it's a um, lovely area. <laughs> um, it's really accessible by car, train, light rail, and so on. Here you have the prices in both Australian dollar and US dollars. Um, you have meeting rooms that you can um, divide, so you can have a bit of flexibility here. Um, windows and high ceilings, um, but a bit of a narrow meeting space and so on. So that's one of the Sydney. Um, the second one, so the second and third were located in the CBD of, of Sydney. This is a, a one of the, it's, it's really close. You can go to one to the other. I mean, we won't have both, but it's really close. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one is uh, quite different from all the others because it's actually a take innovation hub. So it's not a hotel, which means that we have to separately book hotels elsewhere. Um, so it rents out some venues. Um, it's really modern. Um, there's windows. It's really central and it's unique and interesting. So we'd have to book the thing separately. And the meeting rooms are a bit long and narrow in the sense of, you know, where we would be sitting. And the third one, um, which I'll come back to a bit of the prices, is the most expensive of all of them, is the Amora Hotel in Sydney. So it's in the CBD with the hotel. Um, it's a five-star hotel, like in the heart of the CBD. Um, great build, big rooms, large room. Um, so we can, you know, like have a lot of options of how we would set up uh, and central locations and so on. Okay. Um, this is more for us to consider as the uh, CL4 Foundation, but just so that you know in a little bit of a feeling, um, the cheapest ones are in Minneapolis. The Novotel Sydney one is about the same level as the Mar Mar Market uh, Hotel in um, Minneapolis. Um, and then it's more or less going in this direction. All right. And yes, yeah, so now, you know, we want your opinion. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a hands up. You're allowed to vote for multiple ones. It's just to get an idea if if we would go there, um, you know, how likely it is that you, you know, you would be coming. So we 
it's just great to see so many people here, so we just want to make a choice that will fit for the majority of people to be able to come. So, I'll first do a vote per city. Um, so, hands up for people would like or who very likely come if it was held in Minneapolis. Thirty-five, forty. Remember that. Um, can you note it down, Darren? <laughs> Thirty-five, forty. Okay. Um, hands up for San Francisco. I see. Bit less. Likely to go. Yeah. Likely to go. Yeah, yeah. Likely to go. If you were to go there, how likely you are to come? Under thirty. And Sydney. Should the guy from Sydney really be counted? <laughs> We've been voting for the other locations for years. So? Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so, I mean, it seems like quite, quite distributed. It's really important for us, as we say, like, the cost can be very different for, um, you know, like the flights and so on. And some people might say, yeah, there's no way I'm going to, you know, be able to go there and so on. So it's really important for us to have a feeling if, if it's, yeah. Let's do, there's no way I don't think I'm going to All right, no way I'm going to go to Minneapolis. <laughs> okay, without naming anyone, Renato will not come. Uh, <laughs> San Francisco. Uh, no way I'll be able to come to San Francisco. Uh, I'm not going to name you. You can raise your hand. Uh, no way I will be able to come to Sydney. Wow, okay, unsure. All right. Okay, unsure. So some, some difficulties maybe. Like, I mean, we, we're not, you know, it's not. Uh, committing. It's, it, it seems very distributed. Do you want to have it per venue? Or? Okay, just very quickly. Uh, that's more like a vote of preference. If it were in Sydney, the Novotel one in the Darling Harbour area with um, the hotel one, raise your hands. Just get a rough feeling. All right. Stone and Chalk. That was the um, Innovation Hub. And the Amora, which is the hotel in the CBD. Okay, so more votes for the Novotel. Uh, and for... <laughs> and very quickly for the Minneapolis options, um, let's start with, in the order that they were. The, the market was the one in the CBD. Yeah, the first one. That was the first one I've shown. So, yes. The campus one at the university. Again. And the Elliott one, which we had a very good advertising <laughs> from <laughs> Darren and <laughs> Isaac. All right. Okay. Not a lot there. All right. So thank you very much for playing the game with us. Um, sorry it took a bit longer. It really helps us um, getting a, an idea. Once again, we'll send a survey to the entire community to get a bit of, of a feel and we'll, we'll, we'll continue working on these options. Um,